Welcome to the Charger Bulletin News. I'm Ariana Lasher. And I'm Julianne Brown. We have lots of information for you today, so let's get started. On Tuesday, November 12th, the Student Committee of Programming Events will be hosting a pancake art event. The event will be in the German Club starting at 2 p.m. Stop by and custom make a pancake. Pancake artists will be taking will be present taking requests and will design the pancakes of your choice. The event is free to all undergraduate students while supplies last. If you have any questions, you can email scope at newhaven.edu. This fall, the theater department will be holding their fall production of The Wolves. The show is about an indoor girls soccer team and the interior struggles of working together. It is a portrait of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that will help to bring together the girls on the team. The show is written by Sarah DeLapp and directed by Jonathan Yukich. The show will be performed in the Bucknell Theater from November 13th to November 16th. Tickets are $5 for students, $10 for senior citizens, and $15 for general admission. Tickets can be purchased at the door the night of or on eventbrite.com. Tonight at 8 p.m. in the German Club, Phi Sigma Sigma and Sigma Alpha Epsilon will be hosting their third annual dating game event. Five sisters of Phi Sigma Sigma and five brothers from Sigma Alpha Epsilon will go on stage one at a time and compete in a dating game style show. The event is free and open to all students on campus. See you there tonight. Earlier today, Editor-in-Chief Anna Downs sat down with the University President Stephen Kaplan. In that interview, Anna asked about retirement rumors. Here's what President Kaplan had to say. Lastly, uh, there have been rumors on campus that you will be retiring. Um, did you want to give a statement on that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just asked this by Ralph Della Camera, mm -hmm. whose name was on the stadium last night over mm -hmm. dinner. And, and actually, someone asked me at lunch, uh, the speaker yesterday, Kiko Matos, the same question. Mm -hmm. I'm 66, mm -hmm. and I love my family greatly and want more time with them. Mm -hmm. But I also love what I'm doing and find it exhilarating. So I'm very torn as, as to retirement. Mm -hmm. What our board has allowed me to do is take longer vacations in the summer and have more time with my family. And as long as I can do that, I frankly don't know when I'll stop doing this because oh. it's an incredible student body. Faculty and staff are hardworking, dedicated, and, and high quality people. It's, 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 hard, it's hard to just <laughs> yeah, walk away from something you love so much. So Absolutely. who knows? Okay. Well, but sooner or later, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, we thank you, President Kaplan, for joining us today, and we look forward to the university's advancements and updates. Great. Thank you. Other topics that Anna and President Kaplan talked about included the new Bergami Center for Science, Technology, and Innovation, as well as the hiring of the new athletic director, Shayan Zenger, and the quest to become a Division I school, and also sustainability. You can watch the interview in its entirety on chargerbulletin.com. It's time for our weekly sports update. And Joe Claus is here to break down all things Chargers that happened this past week. Thanks, Julian and Ariana. On Saturday, football routed Franklin Pierce University 63-0. The Chargers dominated on the run game, amassing 239 rushing yards on the day. Redshirt freshman Shamar Logan led the run game with 83 yards and two touchdowns. Junior quarterback Christian Lupoli added 157 passing yards and had three passing touchdowns and himself a rushing touchdown. Senior Juwan Williams led the receiving core with four catches for 82 yards and two touchdowns. He also returned a punt 62 yards for a touchdown. On the day, the defense was headed by redshirt freshman A.J. Repolette, who had 12 tackles on the day. The Chargers are back in action on Saturday at Assumption College. Kickoff is set for 12 p.m., and they hope to continue the roll. Women's soccer ended their season on Tuesday against the College of St. Rose. The Chargers got on the board first with a goal from Micah Roms, who dropped the match, but sadly dropped the match 2-1. Two to one. Junior Paige Davis recorded nine saves on the day for the Chargers in net. Women's soccer finished the season with a record of 4-11-2 and 3-9-1 and and in the conference. Field hockey played against Bentley University Friday night in a must-win game to get to the playoffs. The Chargers had many opportunities to score, registering seven shots on the night, but were unable to find the back of the net. New Haven lost 3-0, putting an end to their season. Junior goalkeeper Natalie Shaker recorded two saves in the loss. The Chargers finished the year 5-13 and 5-9 and in the Northeast 10. Men's soccer ended their season on a high note Wednesday afternoon when they hosted Bentley University, where they came out victorious 2-0. 
Graduate student Tiago Ventem and junior Sean Skeen scored for the Chargers. Freshman John Calvo added an assist on the day. The win brought the Chargers' overall record to 5-10-1 in the season and 3-8-1 in the conference. On Wednesday night, Chargers volleyball traveled across the street to Southern Connecticut State University looking to make a push for the top seed in the playoffs. New Haven battled but sadly lost the match three sets to two. Sophomore Ruby Farah led the Chargers with 14 kills and three aces. New Haven has three games left in the regular season and will return to action on Saturday at 1 p.m. in Charger Gymnasium against Stonehill College. So everyone, if you can, make it out and support the team as they look for their playoff push. That's all we have for sports. Back to you, Julian and Ariana. On Monday, November 11th from 1 to 6 p.m., the Center for Student Engagement, Leadership and Orientation and the Office of Special Events will be hosting Winter Charge Out in the Alumni Lounge. The event is open to both undergraduate and graduate students who are graduating this winter to receive all the needed information before commencement. All students who have successfully completed the Winter Commencement Participation Form are invited to attend Charge Out. No guests will be admitted without an e-ticket. Students must present their university student ID to reserve electronic tickets. Students may not reserve a ticket for another student. Students will receive information on co-curricular transcripts, meet with representatives from university offices, and more. For more information, you can email celo at newhaven.edu. Well, that's all we have for you this week on the Charger Bulletin News. To stay up to date with on-campus news, visit thechargerbulletin.com and follow us on social media at Charger Bulletin. That's all we have for you this week. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Julianne. And I'm Ariana. We'll see you next week on the Charger Bulletin News.